Hey guys, how's it going? Dylan here from Field Strength and Athletics with you today for another bench workout. Following the rich program, we're in our peak cycle, so that means today we have a heavy bench. We're hitting above a 90% single with some back offsets after that, followed with some pin press on the overhead press. Um, then some circuit work after that. So it's gonna be a great day, have a lot in store, gonna have some fun, let's get right to it. All right, getting started off with a little shoulder rock action. Working that back and forth, opening up the shoulders, getting the core activated. like to do that before every single bench workout. Now I just wanted to show you how I get through my setup. We actually will have a video coming out soon on the how to bench for our how to series of our exercises. So these are a couple of videos you'll see again. Um, but I just want to show that we make sure to get under the bar, do about 10 to 15 reps with just the rate there. Um, as soon as I get to 135, I always like to wear wrist wraps or else my wrist gets aggravated. So we're jumping up to 135, hitting some reps, just to show you the warm up, right? We don't just jump into our top set. We take our time to get there. Now today we're working up to 365 pounds. So we're making sure to take our time, which is why you're seeing the 225, 275, and actually be 315. All right, now we're up to our top set, 365 pounds. And you'll see the full setup. Here we go. All right, now we do our back off sets, going down uh, five to 10 percent each rep, hitting an AMRAP for those. After that, in our Ridge program, we have our pin presses, so we're doing a shorter range of motion, hitting our eight sets of two. Um, once again, get here, grab a dang junk bar. Don't be doing these with someone's nice bar that they just purchased or a new bar at the gym. Grab something that if it bends or it's already bent, it doesn't matter. Don't be a jerk. Jerk's not allowed. Now in between these rounds, we're just resting about 60 seconds. You can go a little shorter if you want to, if you want to get the heart rate up a little bit faster. But I don't like to take longer than 60 seconds between these. Next we have our circuit rounds. We're going to be doing the incline dumbbell press for 10 reps. The dumbbell bent over rows for 10 reps. Now, the focus with these exercise selections is we're just working on what's going to help with the bench press, right? So we need our upper pecs, we need our triceps, we need our lats. Then I like to finish with a conditioning at the end of one of these giant sets like this, which is the sledgehammer. This is a good time to take out any um, anger and anxiety. Someone didn't take out the trash. Oh, hey, you guys caught me on the way to the gym. We're heading in, doing our contest prep for the strongest Viking Fest down in Palsbo is still going on May 17th. So today we're doing our heavy block pulls. We're gonna go for an AMRAP at competition weight or just below. Um, so you're gonna be jumping right back into that. You're gonna see that footage here in just a second. Um, other than that, big news, my gym's finally open. So we're gonna be jumping right into there um, and I'll see you guys on the platform. All right, so some tough news. Since recording this video and working through this workout, the competition, um, the Viking Fest, has officially been moved back. Um, no set date when, but it does mean we stop training. So this day, we're doing the block pulls just like we would for competition, getting our jumps up. I'm jumping up 90 pounds each round, just so that way I don't have to waste too much time warming up. And then here we're actually on to our competition weights, 585. I'm gonna go for an AMRAP, let's see what happens. I just wanted to make sure that you guys get to see my full setup in this deadlift. When I'm going to approach something really heavy like this, I haven't touched 585 since my previous powerlifting competition. Um, getting in the right mindset, sniffing some yummy smelling salts. Oh, delicious. And then how we approach the bar. Like we're here to do business. We ain't here to mess around. We're here to do business. So let's put on some music and let's get to lifting. Let's go.
Hell yeah. So after that super heavy deadlift, we're now moving on to our assistance exercises, starting off with a belt squat, new addition to the gym. Just wanted to mess around with it, hit those quads. That's a nice accessory movement. After that, we did our sets there. Now we're going to be doing our giant sets for our conditioning. We have our cable rows, our variation to the Nordic hamstring curls, Bulgarian split squats, and box jumps. And this goes the same lines as we did with the bench day, just the stuff that helps with our deadlift and squats. All right, guys, all finished up with today's training. Last heavy deadlift before competition. Hopefully, um, you saw the accessory work that we did with the belt squat. Now it's kind of just going to change the pace because it felt nice to get that separation of my discs. Other than that, we're getting back to training some clients today. So we'll get to it. See you guys on that side.